bless you once again for tuning in to the Way of Salvation program. I have been talking about demons and deceptive teachings. In the last episode, I let you understand that it is wrong to connect Christianity and culture. Any pastor who is teaching that there's nothing wrong to practice our culture in the church, that pastor has no knowledge about what culture is. He's misinformed. So the Bible says the people perish for lack of knowledge. It is completely erroneous to practice cultural values and cultural norms and beliefs in the church. I told you that some of the practices are innocent, but there are other ones that have spiritual connotations with them, like the pouring of libation. If you say there's nothing wrong, then come and pour libation in the church. Call for the powers of your dead ancestors to be behind you, whether you call that Christianity. So they think dressing in a way and coming to showcase the cultural uh, values is, is what to him uh, culture is. But as I said in the other episode, there is a big principality behind culture. Every culture, Western culture, Eastern culture, Australian culture, African culture, there is a big principality behind that is forcing people not to abandon the cultural values and then to stay in it but not believe in God. So if you say you are a Christian, do away with the demonic, spiritual, cultural values that will fight against Christianity. Please, do away with that and come to be a part of the godly children who are living to please God. I don't live to please culture. I live to please God. As the Lord said, because of that cultural practice, his word cannot penetrate. Let the word of God live in you by abandoning those cultural practices. I'll finish with demons and deceptive teachings. Today I want to handle another issue. And that one has to do with demons and unbelief. Demons and unbelief. Unbelief is a state of mind. It is a very funny condition because it is a state of mind that demons put people in. When you are in the mind of unbelief, I want to prove to you today that it is demons that are influencing you. Why do I say so? God in his word, let me prove to you in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it says that, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This quotation has to do with the fact that if you are coming to seek God, if you are a child of God, you have to believe that God is. He is alive. Jehovah God, the creator, is alive. And if you don't believe that there is God, you can never please him. According to this scripture, it is demons that do not want people to believe God. They don't want people to do that. That is why I said that unbelief is a state of mind by demons. By the way, you have to understand that belief is a choice. 
you can choose to believe something and you can choose not to believe something and you have to understand that your choice of unbelief will not nullify the truth if you say you don't believe something it doesn't mean that the thing you don't believe is not in existence so that is what, that is what you need to understand believe is a choice so if you, you can if you choose not to believe it doesn't nullify the truth what i want to say today is that anyone who says he doesn't believe what unbelief am i talking about i'm talking about unbelieving god if you choose not to believe in god you cannot please him so god wants everyone of his creation to believe that he is he created all things so you have to believe that he is but it is very sad that demons have caused many people to be in the state of unbelief why it is very sad to be in the state of unbelief is that demons have put people in these two important categories of unbelief these two important categories one group called themselves the atheist these people don't believe in the existence of god they don't believe anything to them life is normal i'm living my life i don't want to believe in any supernatural i'm just living in the flesh so i don't believe anything if you don't believe even that there is god or demons or anything demons themselves have made you so so being an atheist is a demonic condition i'll prove to you why the second uh, group of people are the evolutionists who say that they believe sorry who say that they don't believe in the creation that god is the one who created everything they believe in evolution they believe that human beings developed stage by stage from animals and then we became human beings i am not from an animal i am not from an ape i was created as a god as a child of god with this image so i believe that god created me i am not from the big bang some even believe in the big bang i am not in that school i don't believe in that why i say that these two conditions are very sad is that demons themselves believe in the existence of god let me prove that one too to you let me let's go to james chapter 2 the book of james and i want to prove something there to you james chapter 2 and i'm reading from verse 19 james was talking to the believers and let's hear what he said in verse 19 he said you believe that there is one god you do well even demons believe and tremble hallelujah even demons believe and they tremble at the presence of our god When the Lord was here on earth casting out demons from people a man filled with the host of demons ran to Jesus and said Jesus the son of God what have we to do with you have you come to destroy us before the time that we demons know that Jesus is the son of God Jesus is the one who can destroy them is the one who has the ultimate power so please jesus has power over demons and they know so if you say you don't believe in the existence of god why i say it's very sad is that demons are deceiving you they are deceiving you 
They are causing you not to believe something they themselves believe. They themselves believe that there is God and they tremble at his presence. They know. So it is very sad that you see somewhere and because of a study you have done, you say there is no God. Please, where, where did you get that mindset that there is no God? You read it from a book. Somebody's book. Let me ask you this question. If there is no God, do you read it from a book? If there is no God, do you read from a book another human being like you wrote? It is very sad and very funny. If there is no God, we prove it. You find out. You find this out in the spirit. Not from someone else's book who is also human as you are. It's very sad. If you have I read a book and according to this scientific theory, according to this, according to that, according to all the things you are saying, they are also human beings like you. So if you say there is no God, don't, don't, don't uh, go and accept that from a book. You are wrong. You see, demons themselves behave and they believe that there is God. And they are just, why are they doing that to human beings? Why is it that demons are causing human beings not to believe that there is God? It is because they don't want you to believe in him and let him reward you as Hebrews chapter 11, 6 said. And let him reward you on earth and also reward you in eternity. They don't want you to go there. I've told you that demons have sworn that they will not alone not go into the fire, hellfire. So they want to push human beings into it along with them. That is why something they themselves believe, they tell you, don't believe, don't believe. There's no God, don't believe him. It's a lie. I have been a pastor for many decades. Anybody who knows me will tell you that I can prove, I, I prove whatever I preach. If you dare and don't believe, you can come to me and I will call Lucifer. I have power to call any demon. When you call them, they respond. Because of the power that resides in me. Because of the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, the one who died, rose again, seated at the right side, at right hand side of the father, who will come back and judge the dead of the living. He is the one I serve. And he has power over all the demons. I will call Lucifer. I will let Lucifer stand right in your presence. And I'll ask Lucifer any other demon for you. Is there God or not? Answer this man who doesn't believe. He will be laughing at you. He will be telling you, I'm deceiving him. But for me, I believe. Because all, I, I believe that I have much, much information and knowledge about demons. That is why I've written a book about them. Listen, they call God as this. The one who created us. That is the way they refer to him. The one who created us. So if demons themselves say that there's one who created us. Have you seen why? And they fooling you. And they fooling you. They are. They are. You see? So please, if you are somebody watching me today. And you, you don't believe in the existence of God. Please change your mind. Because the demons in you are deceiving you. They believe something and they don't want you to believe. So please, believe now and change your, your understanding. It is wrong. Now let me ask you a question. Supposing there is no God, as you say, and you live your life and you die and go and meet him. And he says, you said I didn't exist. I am. And he puts you in hell. You will lose big time. And you cannot change it. Now let me come back to another scenario. Supposing you come down to believe in God. You live for him. And everything he wants you to do for, uh, for him and for yourself. Will not kill you. But it will lift you up. And to make you holy. You die and you go and, and inherit the kingdom of God in eternity. You have gained something. But if you die and there is no God to you. have lost nothing. You have lost nothing. So my point is, if you believe now and die and go and meet him and he can put you in hell, don't you see it's very serious. If you think you believe and die and there is even no God, 
as you say. You, you didn't lose anything. So why don't you then? It means that if you believe and you, you didn't lose anything, there's no punishment. But if you say you don't believe and you go and meet him and truly there's God as I pray to you and he'll put you in hell, don't you think that will be serious? It will be very serious. So what if you are wrong? And truly you are wrong too. So do your best. Change your theology. Change your mind. Change your beliefs. And come to understand that there is God. Some people say, if I die and I see, I will believe. It will be too late. You can't change it. So come to believe in God. Demons are deceiving you. So that is the first thing I want us to understand today. The second thing I want to talk about today has to do with the people who say that I don't believe in hell. I'm talking about demons and unbelief. The first person I talked about is the person who doesn't believe in God. The second person says, I don't believe in hell. I see. Some people even say, there is no hell. Okay, listen. Hell is mentioned 13 times in the New Testament. The word hell is mentioned 13 times. If something doesn't exist, why would we mention its name? By the way, Names are given to things in existence. Names are given to things in existence. If, it's, if, it's, if it doesn't exist, there will be no name for it. So if God and the Bible mentions it 13 times, then it tr it's true that there is hell. When you go to Matthew chapter 23, verse 33, let me read it. The Lord said, Serpents, broad of vipers. How can you escape the condemnation of hell? How can you escape the condemnation of hell? The Lord Jesus was saying that when you are condemned, you go to hell. Let's read Luke chapter 12. The Lord said, but I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, I said to you, fear him. I only like the sentence where he said he has power to cast into hell. That means there is hell. So don't let a, a demon deceive you into saying that I don't believe in hell. Hell is real. Hell is there. So you cannot say, I don't believe in hell. There are people who have died, gone to see this hell fire, and God has given them chance to come back to testify that there is hell. So please don't be deceived. It is in the Bible. The Lord Jesus spoke about it. So please don't die and go to hell. Why I say I love you is that the fire is there. It will never quench. Listen, I always say, use this last finger, this small finger. Light the fire at home and put this finger in it five seconds. Okay, 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 five seconds. Whether you can. You can't. And this fire can never quench. Some people say it this way. If I die and I come to hell, I will believe. You can't change it then. You can't change it. Why not believe now? And if even I said, if even you die, there's no hell. You don't lose anything. But there is. There is hell. So please, don't let demons deceive you. They are doing that. They don't want you to believe in the reality of things. So that you get along with them. Let me add one more for today. The next thing they say they don't believe is that I don't believe that God still works miracles today. And for me, I don't believe that miracles happen today. I don't believe in those days. You know, God only worked miracles in those days. It was only in the days of the apostles that God worked miracles. It's not true. Let's read Mark chapter 16, verse 17. The Lord said, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. This quotation I've been using a lot in the series. And they will speak with new tongues. In verse 18, it says, They will take up serpents if they drink anything deadly. It will by no means hurt them. It says that they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So if you say, 
I don't believe that miracles happen. This is only a, a healing. But I have been a minister for decades. I can tell you that miracles still happen today. I see miracles every day. I lay on some people without charge. I pray for people free of charge and I, then they are healed. Demons come out of people's lives. They scream and leave them and people are changed. Miracles happen today. That is why I tell people, if you have problems with demons, you are sick, please come to, to me. I will pray for you free of charge. I don't sell oil. I will not give you any water to drink. I will not give you any band, arm band or wristband or anything. By the power, God heals by his word. He says, I send my word to heal their diseases. God still works miracles today. So please, don't let demons deceive you. The miracle of God is still that way. I love you. I don't want you to be deceived by demons and go to hell. Sit up because Jesus is coming soon. I will see you again. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you have been enlightened. To hear more, you may subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to see more videos. Patsu Kukudatsi has written a very informative book called How Demons Operate. Grab yourself a copy to know how they operate and know how to liberate yourself from demonic oppression. To stay in contact with us, you can reach us through these details. God bless you.